I think Winston Churchill would be quite, quite an entertaining chap to, uh, to sit down and have dinner with. Um, he just epitomises that sort of resilient British spirit uh, that was particularly uh, sort of portrayed during his speeches in World War II. And he's just quite, a, quite an enjoyable character. I, mean, I think I'd have dinner with Benjamin Franklin. And I know that sounds like a weird answer, um, but he lived at a really interesting time. And uh, he's a world traveler, you know, went as an ambassador to France. Um, he's also kind of a party guy, so I think the dinner would be really fun. My mother passed away like four years ago, so if I could have, you know, I've always said I would give away anything and everything for one more day with her, so I'd have to pick her. I mean, it's an easy decision. I think it would be a lot of fun to be a musician. I think a lot of people probably say that, but I can't sing, I can't play an instrument, and so it's basically the antithesis of anything I can do, so it would definitely be that. I think my dream job would be uh, maybe being an ambassador, um, traveling around the world and seeing all the different things and working as kind of an advocate for uh, our country and then also um, trying to help other countries in some form or another it just seems like, like the best job around. I would absolutely be a forensic scientist and I'd work for the FBI and I'd be a secret agent and I would absolutely dive head first into every case I had and have the best time doing it. Alaska. I went up there on a, a three-week uh, kayak trip and uh, we went to the Kenai Fjords which is uh, just outside of uh, Seward and Anchorage and um, they dropped us off there and we were there for three weeks in the wilderness just kind of living on our own, uh, very low impact and it was, it was just absolutely beautiful. Definitely the most exotic place I've been to I think is St. Petersburg, Russia and they have the Hermitage Museum which is the old Tsar's castle and I'm an art appreciator, not an aficionado, not a buff, but the art collection there is unbelievable. I mean, I've been to, you know, the Art Institute here, and I've been to the Prado in Spain, I've been to the Vatican Museums, I've seen some incredible museums, but the Hermitage collection is ten times better. Dubai, and I was there twice, about two years ago, and for work and a little bit of leisure above it, we did a party in the desert about an hour outside of Dubai, where camels roamed and Arabian men rode Arabian horses. I'm afraid of uh, letting down my family and, um, and just not supporting my family. And I feel like, you know, if I disappoint them, I definitely disappointed myself. My parents live in the suburb of Chicago and I'm very close to them. Uh, but in a couple of years, they're gonna move back to Japan for the rest of their life. And I'm afraid of not being there to take care of them. And flying in heights, definitely don't like flying. Um, when, when you're up in the air and you hit that turbulence, I mean, I just, I just get real shaky, real nervous. I don't like that feeling of being completely out of control and being up in the air where humans were clearly not meant to go. Well, I'm probably most afraid of monkeys. Uh, I recently took a trip to the Caribbean and uh, they had monkeys that were on these men's shoulders and uh, as you walked by, they'd put it on your shoulder and try to get you to pay to get it off. Uh, it was really terrifying. They had little man hands, and it was just really scary. Deal breaker number one, do not be late. That is the first thing uh, I tell everybody. I cannot stand people being late. I'm very uh, busy schedule. Everyone's got a busy schedule. Uh, respect my time. I'll respect your time. Don't show up late. I can't stand it. It drives me bananas. Smoking's a deal breaker. Um, and just... Um, I guess being self-involved is kind of one of those things. Uh, there's a whole world out there and all these different people and just not being aware of what's going on around you just kind of, uh, that's a deal breaker, it throws me off. I think someone who isn't willing to laugh at themselves, um, isn't willing to try new foods. I really enjoy going out to eat and going out in the city. If someone just wants to stay at home all the time, I think that's sort of a deal breaker. Someone who doesn't have a very good sense of humor, um, I definitely need a girl who sort of understands my sense of humor. Hopefully it's quite funny herself. Apart from that, I think um, a girl who's slightly too reliant on me in, in social settings, uh, I find it very attractive when girls are off and they're able to sort of, you know, walk around the room and talk to all sorts of people. My happy place is the gym. I try to block out about an hour or two every day and that's kind of my me time where I get to focus on myself. I don't have to worry about salesmen calling me or, or other situations or distractions that are going on. This is a place called Map Room. And when, on every Tuesday they have international night where they uh, serve food catered by different restaurants. 
Uh, my happy place in Chicago is, uh, is Club Vibe. I know that I'm gonna have a good time. Being that it's a good DJ, I can go in there, I can dance, you know, I can uh, sit down, I can you know, go in there and just enjoy myself and know that I'm safe and that I'm around a great crowd.